We begin tonight with more on the preliminary hearing for Paul and Ruben Flores. Today, a retired Cal Poly police investigator testifies in San Luis Obispo County Superior Court. He shared early details of the missing persons case involving Kristen Smart. KSBY reporter Megan Healy gives us a recap of this testimony so far. We're hearing from retired investigator Lawrence Kennedy, who was one of the first officers to look into Kristen's disappearance. He is explaining what Paul Flores told him during several interviews. In court Wednesday, we're getting perspective from law enforcement. Retired Cal Poly Police Investigator Lawrence Kennedy took on the missing persons case after Memorial Day in 1996. He retired in 2003 after nearly 25 years in law enforcement. He testified that he first visited Paul Flores on May 28, 1996 at his dorm room and described Paul as, quote, very nervous. On several occasions, Paul says to him that he walked Kristen up the hill to the dorms and left her near the driveway of the Sequoia Red Brick dorms and then went to his Santa Lucia dorm around 3 a.m. Prosecutor Chris Prevell also played the nearly 45 minute interview conducted by Kennedy and another Cal Poly police officer with Paul on May 30th of that year. In the interview, Paul says he drank, quote, too much and doesn't remember talking to Kristen during the walk. He says he only gave her two hugs because Kristen said she was freezing. The prosecution attempts to submit a booking photo of Paul with a black eye from May 28, 1996 into evidence, but defense attorney Bob Sanger objects, citing a chain of custody issue. And then Kennedy points out the black eye in the photo and says it's consistent with Paul's appearance the same day he interviewed him. The judge allows the photo into evidence. After the afternoon break, defense attorney Bob Sanger will pick up his cross examination and questions about what techniques were used during those interviews with Paul Flores. In San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. Prosecutor, sir, prosecutor also hinted that he will call the cadaver dog handlers who helped search through Paul's dorm. And we will have more on that testimony tonight at 10 and 11.